Hi, welcome to my YouTube channel Clickview Enthusiast. I'm Abhishek, a Clickview Learner, and in this video, I will talk about the usage of variables in Clickview. So, those who are who of you are programmers understand the use of variables in your programs. But for those who are beginners, let me take a minute for them and tell you about uh, the variables, what variables are, and how they hold, and what type of data they hold. Uh, when you specify or initialize the variables. So variables is nothing uh, but a placeholder which holds a static text or a numerical value or a formula related value that you can use later in your ClickView documents to achieve uh, the certain output. In ClickView, you can define the variables uh, at two places and uh, in two different ways. So let's move ahead and see how we can specify a variable. So first I will start with uh, specifying a variable in the script itself. So for that, let's move on to the edit script by clicking here on the edit script button. And uh, whenever you start or you, whenever you create a new document and goes into the edit script option, you see that there are some 10 values, which is a predefined values, which click view loads based on your system configuration. These are nothing but the variables if you see it closely. So one of the way of defining the variable is by using the set keyword. So there it is specifying the thousand separators as comma. So it is uh, surrounded by this single quotation, which is saying it's a text and uh, giving it a meaning that it is a thousand separators which we are specifying and which is a comma decimal separator dot money thousand separator comma money decimal separator dot it is specifying the money format and then the time format date format timestamp format month names and day names so this is one way of uh, specifying a variable and all of these are predefined whenever you start your click view document and goes into the edit script. So let's see another way of uh, specifying the variable which is by using the statement keyword let t and you can give any name like c a l c I'm sorry c a l c calc is equals to um, one plus one plus two and the semicolon. Now here is a difference. Uh, you may ask what is the difference between uh, set and the let statement. So in simple terms set whenever you specify a variable by using the set keyword it will not going to evaluate uh, when you will run the script like this. So here we are specifying a variable variable with let and when we will use the variable in the front end we will get the result as 3 because let evaluates the formula if you are specifying a formula in here in the variable but if I am doing the same thing with set and saying calc1 calc1 equals to 1 plus 2 semicolon mm, equals to forgot that okay so if I'm doing the same thing with the set keyword then it will not evaluate and let's see the effect so I will save this and reload click okay I will use a simple text object to get the values go to new sheet object and uh, the text object and I will put a dollar and I will use the calc this variable and I will click OK so now you can see it you are showing this effect that uh, let is evaluating the formula that we have specified which is 3 and if I'm using another text object to get the set uh, to get that variable which we defined with set keyword which was calc1 tab 
and I click OK, you see this, it is just 1 plus 2. So that is basically the difference you should have in mind whenever you are declaring a variable um, either by using a set or let. What they do when you actually specifying, so suppose if you are specifying a formula and using the set keyword and not getting the appropriate result, then there there is a workaround which you can do, but uh, if you are not doing that workaround, then you will get this formula, simple formula or uh, simple text which is storing as text and not evaluating it. So now how about this uh, workaround which I just talked that uh, if you are specifying a formula in when initializing a variable with set keyword, then what is the workaround? So for that, I will right click on the text box, go to properties and I will use the dollar sign for this. So for that, I will first surround the value by the uh, small brackets, which is this calc and the closing bracket. And then just after the equal to sign, I will put a dollar, this dollar sign. Okay, and let's see this. Now you can see we are getting the result which is required. It means the evaluation of formula. So in this way, uh, this is basically called the dollar sign expansion. I will talk a little bit more later in this video, but this is basically called the dollar sign expansion, uh, which is helpful in evaluating the formula by default. I go into these properties by default this is the standard way it means using the dollar sign and then surrounding the variable by these small brackets and then specify the variable so this is the standard way of uh, using a variable in click view so that irrespective of you are doing uh, or, or you are initializing a variable with the help of either let keyword or set keyword you will not run into any issue because you are using a standard. It means the dollar sign expansion for using the variable. So that's one thing I wanted to discuss. Um, now let's go to the another way by which you can define your variables. And that is uh, in the settings tab, settings menu and the variable overview window, which you can get in control plus alt plus V also. So you can see these variables are coming here also. But here only thing is this, uh, you are not able to see whether we have specified them either using a let or set statement. Okay, so you can see it has this window which is showing the variable. It shows the middle section shows the definition, what we have specified and the comment, right? So let's, uh, Declare this. Let's create another variable by clicking here add and uh, let's see as v v means variable text. Click OK. Click here. The definition window will be open and I will say uh, let's write some name. Shake my name. Uh, if you have any f explanation related to this variable, you can write it over here. Say my name, name of the person, something like this, and you click OK. And when you use it, you again, you can use it at multiple places, but I'm just showing it with the help of text object. So uh, I am using the standard, same thing, the standard I showed the dollar sign and uh, then the bracket and then the name V. I think that was that is what I specified V name. No, let's see that what I specified. If I can go here and in the variables V text. So basically I specified the v text, not the v name, and I will click paste. That's another way. You can click over here 
uh, go to variables and uh, make sure what you have uh, in the variables with drop down these these variable drop down will contain whatever you have uh, created whatever variables you have created over there okay and you click okay so now I'm getting my name so how about this uh, you know using it uh, or the real-time applications of the variables so one of the application I have I think uh, already specified in my earlier videos like input box or the slider where we have used the variables to uh, uh, we have used the variables to uh, change the output and achieve the desired behavior from the click view application so I will encourage you to go to my video input input box and the slider to see what we have done and here in this video I will show uh, some other places where you can use the variables uh, to achieve the certain output so let's start with creating a metric and uh, one of the very uh, one of the very recently used uh, variable application is changing the metric when the currency rate is changing so in your global application uh, if you have uh, values like sales amount or or you are doing some financial reporting for different countries uh, there is always an implication of currency rates so here we will see uh, the currency rate like uh, uh, between India and uh, uh, say GBP which is uh, uh, 100 rupees so one UK pound is equals to around 103 uh, Indian rupee so we will see how we can achieve it uh, by using the uh, variables so for that let's go into the script window control E let's specify this rate let V rate is equals to uh, say 103 so we have specified the variable for exchange rate and we will click OK and we will create uh, another variable here in settings variable overview window and we will give the name as v currency c u r and we will give the name as inr and we'll click ok now we will create a metric go to new sheet object chart create a simple metric next we will pick the year as our dimension click next we will say for now we will say sum of uh, sales so we will get this and you click finish we'll just little expand this and value will come now what we will do we will create two buttons which will sh say GBP and INR so for that we will go to new sheet object go to button we will say INR and we will click on action this is important we will add the action external and we will say set variable we will click OK we will give the name as variable of VCUR and value will be INR OK and similar another variable uh, which is again button we will see GBP and action again it will be external set variable V V C U R and value will be GBP we'll click OK now we will do little adjustment in the metric same so go to properties and I will click here some and I will introduce the if if my my variable which is V V C U R is equals to I N R then give me this sum of sales otherwise give me the sum of sales which is this multiplied by V rate okay and I will close this by this bracket click OK OK and we will see this desired behavior so you can see it is changing INR GBP so this is how you can do the very